So today we'll be taking a look at event emitters in Node.js and how they are important as they are the basic blocks for event driven architecture in a Node.js backend. So basically it will have a publisher. So let me just go ahead and create this visualization for you guys. So let me write publisher and this publisher will emit something known as events or messages. So this is similar to the previous video in which we saw RabbitMQ and how the queue messages can be consumed. So there we have seen a consumer type of architecture but here these events are subscribed by subscribers. So these publisher will e emit an event like this. So these events will be consumed by these publisher by these sorry by these subscribers so these subscribers can make use of these events right so these subscribers may be uh, distributed node.js uh, processes uh, what I mean by that is they are independent services they are not interdependent on each other they may communicate with their own databases and they may have their own functionalities so in this video we will take a real life example of a node.js service which has different services and how they communicate using event driven services so these subscribers like i told you they have their own functionality so let us take an example of a booking app right so let me just write this with the pencil tool and booking so in this visualization the user wants to make a booking right so the booking has its own service right so what the booking service will do is it will only check for the number of tickets that are in supply so if the number of tickets are in supply it will pass on that event with some data to the other service so this is another service so this may be something like email and once the supply event is emitted by the booking service the email service will consume that event and send an email while another service called the database service will be listening to the same event right so the same event will be taken up by the database service and an api will also listen to that service okay the api service will be listening to that service and it may have so suppose the db is or uh, the DB service is down right so even if the event is not uh, what do you say uh, it is down it can be consumed again by some retry logic right so the user is not blocked the user can go forward with whatever action that he's doing and the backend will retry it and do the necessary actions so this is a very loosely coupled way of writing services and this is uh, really useful. So let us create an index.js file and import event emitter and let us construct a class called booking manager which will extend event emitter because we can use the emit functionality of node.js. So it will have a by function right. So the booking manager in our example this will take up email and price as attributes as the sorry not attributes uh, as arguments and let me check if this dot supply is greater than zero i will decrease the supply by one and i will emit an event so this dot emit by and let me pass some data so we are passing data along with this emit okay so let us pass the email and price and I will return from here and if the supply is zero I will emit an error and what will be the error new error I want to throw this error there are no tickets left okay now let's create the other files no let me rename the index.js to booking manager.js and let us create the actual index.js file so index.js file let me first import the booking manager okay so there was some issue because this node.js uh, does not have the uh, import module was not enabled so i am i was facing some issues with the imports but i'll fix that later on you can follow along no issues so i'm importing booking manager and i'm doing 
accounts booking manager is equal to new booking manager and a class email that will console logout whenever I call this class okay now let us click let us create the database service class database service and just like the email services will have a save method which will take up these arguments email price and timestamp and I'll just console.log we are not doing any actual database insertion here but that is for another video so insert into database the values dollar email dollar price and dollar timestamp okay so let me export this this is the old common js way of exporting i don't know which i want to do this through es6 let me see and here let us import the email service i didn't show you how we are writing the email service because it is really similar you can do exactly what i did with the database service okay we are just cementing our concept with how events and event emitters work in node.js so let us create an object of this class booking manager const email service is equal to new email service database service is new database service and we want to listen to the buy okay so for that what we have to do is booking manager dot on buy so remember the event that we emitted from the booking manager we are listening to that event so when the booking manager emits the event with that data so this is the data that we receive what we are doing we are calling the email service dot send email and database service dot send uh, dot save email price and timestamp pretty easy highly decoupled each service will have its own thing to do and this looks very distributed and let us invoke the booking manager dot buy and we will supply it with an email and the amount of tickets that we want to buy let us okay i just modified that to uh, es6 standards so now the imports are working so if i run this i can see this right sending email and insert a to so how is that working when i do the buy this will emit this event right line number 12 will emit the event and what happens when I emit the event the event listener is listening so this booking manager is listening to the buy event in this particular uh, index.js file and that will invoke line number 11 and 12 right so email service will send the email database service will save the save whatever data is and this will like you see this is executed by the database service so this is the basic of event driven architecture now for example if I have this uh, if I do this I can see that so many data is inserted but let me trigger an error scenario because I want to handle the error event as well so let me see what I can do for that I may have to okay I can do the same thing so booking manager dot on by instead of that I can write booking manager dot on error so what we have to do is so this will throw an error so if I do this it will throw an error because again additional five tickets it will not have so to handle that error we can do something let's see okay booking manager dot on error 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 and it will say console log error no more tickets left so we are handling the error event as well so I think this line needs to be above this right if I do this I can see that the error is being handled 
so that is all for today's video i'll see you guys in the next one peace